Welcome back, folks. Uh, in the last episode, we were uh, walking through the uh, the crazy uh, mind of uh, a prisoner. This is him obviously recalling what actually happened and telling it to Ripley. We see you. Stay put. I think I found something. And it was so close to being finished, but no, for some reason. Here we go. There's thing. a fissure in the rock. Stand back. I'm gonna blow it. Baseball. There you go. Goodbye. Hold down too. Let's get going. Follow me. Let's get going. Follow me. I'm gonna need another lift, man. Heist, over here. Give me a leg up. What again? No. So yeah, uh, Ripley in the previous episode was wanting information, and this dude, um, this guy that's in prison, uh, is telling her what's actually going on. This is what happened when we got close to the thing. Nice corduroy trousers, mate. I like the effect that the, that the game has. Like it's making all the, like the the, the characters all blurry at the sides of the glass because it's reflected in the glass. It's total cool. Metroid Prime does that as well. Like when whenever you're shooting aliens, you can see Samus's face, in the gun flashes. It's pretty cool. Is that same sort of thing, yeah. Why you can't see this guy's face is beyond me, though. It'd have some sort of front reflection, surely. <laughs> There's the tall ship. This, like, right now is total alien alien fan service. Like, anybody who's into the alien films are like, wow, oh, this is cool. This is so cool. Wow. Look at the architecture, the alien architecture. What the hell do you think? Oh, it's so cool. I'm getting total shivers just That's thinking about how cool it is. Total H.R. Geiger style. Remembered. An opening up ahead. I've got some Jaffa cakes in my coat pocket. Hey! Oh my god. Oh. There's the tall thing. Careful with what you touch. I don't want anything damaged. It's okay, amazing. that's fine. How old must this be? What is it? A cockpit? And make this a ship. Ha <laughs> ha! I think we found our payload. Hey, quiet! Can it? We're wasting time. Have a look around. 
just need to claim a wee bit. It's a life form. It was a life form. Now it's our property. Salvage rights. We need to stake our claim before anyone else does. Man, these doors don't okay. prepare for something this big. Then we'll take what we can and come back. Have a look around, see what else is here. Marlo, we found something. Tracks. Tracks? Looks like something was dragged. But that's not all. You can see there. It's what is it? Hole in its chest. Same name that's on the flight recorder. No scroll. Almost of it. Maybe they abandoned ship and landed here. I can see that. Shit. If they were here before us, why is there no record of this place? Well, if they're still alive, there goes our salvage. Let's find out. I'll find the beacon and shut it off. Don't want anybody else finding this place. Foster, Heist, check out the cavern below. Can you give me a leg up for me? Cheers. What is this? I've never seen anything like it. It's not human, I'm telling you that. This is so cool. This is like totally. Yeah, total fan service for aliens. Alien fans. It's like actually getting to walk about in that like cool ship thing. Like explore it. Obviously, it's uh, curated. Obviously, like it's all has been designed. So, Meeks, I found the beacon. I'm gonna check it out. This is cool. Disable the distress beacon. Stop broadcasting. Marla, you have got to see this. It's amazing. On my way. On my way. I wish you could run. Obviously, it's quite hard to run in a spacesuit, though, so. What can you do, eh? What can you do? It's a total experience, like. Drop down here. They've got their wee tripod thing there. So cool. Oh man. Total alien. Oh, so cool. So 
awesome. Door locked, eh? Is that right? Saving, that's good. Total auto save spot. So if we don't actually get to another safe spot. Everything. Where's your ship? If we can break the comms lockdown, what are the codes to bring it in on auto? If you want more, then you need to get me out of here. Not happening, Marlow. Is that right? Well, you know where I am. Wait. My board in the text by it lit up like a Christmas tree. It's here. Plan B. Set it up. Whatever's happening, I want in. Okay, this way. Got something here you'll need. Go. Go, 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 go. We've only got four minutes left, mate. Let's hope this thing works. It's an animal. Animals are afraid of fire. I hope you're right. right okay. Scrap, right, okay. Um, go to med kit and build med kit. I'm just going to build as many of them as I can. Because medikits are like so freaking useful. And there we go. So we're totally stocked up on medikits. I'm probably just going to use one now, actually, just to get my health back up. Even if we never use it, it's like it's totally useful to just have them there and then. Next, okay. I've got a plan to trap it. Take a transit car and meet Ricardo in the Sistex fire. Ricky I'll coordinate Ricardo. from here. Uh, go to Lauren's cystic spire. Um, guys, I kind of fancy. Okay, oh, I kind of fancy uh, like ending the episode here. We shall obviously check out everything that we need to check out here, though. Wait, it's Doctor Lingard. I've just examined a patient. Well, I've never seen anything like it. Some kind of unknown parasite. I did a quick check on the name they gave me, and there's no one registered under it at Sevastopol. I think she came on board recently. Do you know anything about this? I have no idea what Sinclair and his men were doing, but this should have been picked up during quarantine. Who knows what else they've let through? The patient and her captain are waiting for me in the examination room. Get down here now. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Then. This is the main control room. Right here. Check this stuff out. Arrest sheets. There you go. Cell one. Okay. Move utility things or audio things there. Yeah, well, that's going to have to do this now, guys. Um, we're actually at a point where we can actually save it. Like, it's, we've actually, you know, gotten to the point where. It's all good now, and uh, yeah, we can continue on with our absolutely awesome flamethrower. Look at this total plastic face freak. Uh, yeah, so we'll save the game here, and uh, we'll call that an episode, guys. So yeah, oh, thanks for watching. <laughs> We've got a flamethrower, we got to see the total cool uh, like spaceship thing, we've got to do the total fan service, alien fan service, guys. Uh, it's so cool going down good to the eggs are and that. It would have been cool to explore the, the egg, the, the hatchery area a wee bit more, but uh, yeah. Ah, what can you do? Eh? It's like they've they, they got, they got everything else in there, so yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Beautiful.